At this place in history, we're in Westminster with Steve Perkins, executive director of the Vermont Historical Society. Steve, what brings us here this week? So, Mike, right across my left shoulder, back here is the original site of the Westminster Courthouse. This is a central piece of the foundation of our state of Vermont, first the Republic and then the state. Uh, so many stories associated with it. We're gonna go visit the Westminster Historical Society Museum and speak with Jesse Haas, who's the president of the society, to give us an insight into some of these stories. Great, let's do it. So by 1775, this was part of Cumberland County. New York. New York, as a further extension of, of the struggle that was going on there between uh, the colonies and Great Britain, the Continental Congress says we're gonna have an embargo. And all the colonies voted in the Congress to do this, but they have to go back and ratify it. New York didn't. This county did. And they're like, now what? We say this by closing the court. The court is New York government here. The court was to open on Tuesday. On Monday afternoon, uh, they gathered at Azariah Wright's farmhouse uh, down on the flat below Courthouse Hill. They, about, about 100 people all together, they were not armed. So they came to the courthouse and literally half an hour later, the posse arrives from Brattleboro uh, with guns. So the sheriff had come up the hill with his posse really liquored up <laughs> and they charged the doors. And that's when William French was killed. Many of the people who were in the courthouse had burst out the side doors or, you know, sort of right straight through the sheriff's posse and run to spread the word. And we have to remember, you know, this is about a month before Lexington and Concord. So um, it, was a, it was like the big news for about a month. <laughs> And then, then there was bigger news. Vermont's own independence was then reflected here in Westminster two years later. And actually, it wasn't Vermont at the time. It was New, Con New Connecticut, which they, they crossed that out and said yep. Vermont. But uh, So New Connecticut theory yeah, uh, declared its independence here. But yeah, so the very historic courthouse, which unfortunately then they took apart and recycled. <laughs> For the benefit of anybody that might want to know more beyond what they've heard and seen here about these two seminal events uh, surrounding the Westminster Courthouse, what sorts of resources can you point people to? We have a website, we have a Facebook page, we have this museum which we will be opening uh, in, uh, let's see, July 4th weekend. So it's going to be open, uh, we hope, Saturdays through the summer and then um, by appointment at times. The former home of a revolutionary courthouse at this place in history.